Welcome back guys to a new video. Now today I'm going to be showing you how you can spawn in the dinos that did get updated with the TLC update. The reason why I wanted to make this video is I thought it would help a lot of people out that really just want to see what the new ones look like instead of having to go and find them in the wild. So I hope this video does help you out. If you're on the PC, this will be absolutely fine because the update has been released. But if you're on the console and you try this today or tomorrow or something, it will not work because um, the update isn't going to be released, apparently, according to Wildcard, until February the 20th on the Xbox One and the PS4. So if you do it today, it won't. They, the, the dinos will spawn in, but they won't look any different. So make sure, you, if you are doing this, wait until February the 20, 20th and it will be absolutely fine. Now, if this video does help you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel because really the support has been so cool recently. We actually are getting very close now to 80,000 subscribers, which is so sick, guys. So thank you so much for that. And I can't wait to maybe one day hit that 100,000 subscribers. But anyway, we're just going to be getting straight into this, how you can spawn it in. And obviously, on the PC and the console, it works differently where you can add in commands. So if you're on the PC right now watching this, you press tab and it will get the bar up. But if you're on the console or the PC, uh, or, or the, the, the console, or so that, that's the Xbox One or the PS4, you will have to press start to get the menu up. And then on the Xbox, you'll need to press LB, RB, X and Y all at the same time. And the command bar will appear. And if you're on the PS4, you have to press L1, R1, square and triangle all at the same time and then the command bar will pop up for you guys to type in commands but obviously it will look a little bit different if you are watching this video and you're on console because i'm on the pc showing this update but the command is exactly the same so if you follow it correctly then it will work for you so obviously we're going to be getting into our normal screen and we are going to be starting off by typing in the first command so we're going to be looking at the Bigfoot first, and it's very simple, but we won't be doing a command where they're tamed. Obviously, you can just t type in force tame to tame them, but what we're going to be doing is look at them in the wild, because I thought this would work out a little bit better. And I do have a rocket launcher if anything goes wrong, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, so you start off the command with summon, and then you need a space after that, and you type in the name of what you want first. So the Gigantopithecus's name is Bigfoot, and once you put Bigfoot, you need underscore... Well, you need to actually get underscore this time. Character, then you need underscore BP underscore C. Once you do that, as you will see, a Bigfoot will spawn in. It looks like it's going to chase me already. That is not a great start. Um, we're in creative mode anyway, so we can fly away. Let's, let's let the Bigfoot... Um, and uh, sorry if it takes a while for things to load in. As you guys know, I don't have the best of computers. Um, so we'll let it slow down and we'll fly over to it. Obviously, we want to get a little bit quicker towards it. So let's actually see if we can hover around here and you can see the new look of it. I might actually try and force tame it. You can GM summon it if you would like to, but I always do it this way. Let's see, force tame. Right, I did get it. There we go. So we can now go and have a little look at it. We want to see if we can, can we, there we go. We're riding it now. So um, let's jump off of it. Let's just test it. it. These things can now jump as well. So look, you press space bar, you'll now jump with it, which is pretty awesome. Um, you can now, th you now have like more of an aim to throw. So let's look at this guy a little bit more up close. So that is the new addition to it. Let's look at its face. Looks pretty nice and a bit more realistic. I would say this one didn't have the most of changes um, with all the new dinos things. Um, some other stuff did actually get bigger changes, um, such as the Prococtodon. And that is what I'm really excited to look in for. Well, really looking forward to be able to spawn in. So we're going to be moving on from the Bigfoot, as you guys uh, saw there. And we are now going to be spawning in the, um, the Prococtodon. So being simple and easy, if you are on the console, the command will just stay. And if you're on the PC, you can literally just press up and it will stay there. Um, and you can find your command. And you just get rid of the name, so it's Bigfoot. And now, you'd think that the Procoptodon would be a different name because it's a long name. But it literally is just Procop. If I can actually spell it right, Procoptodon. Let's say, I think that's right. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so it takes a bit of time for the pixels to load in. But um, let's fly up and let's ha have a little look and see if we can catch up with this guy. Because I want to try and force tame it. So um, I, it's going to be hard to actually like, um, it's going to be hard to actually get it. I need to put it in GM summon. Um, so then it literally just spawns in straight away. But I do like seeing it in the wild first. All right, can you stay still for us? They just don't ever stay still, do they? All right, I need to catch it this time. Oh, did I miss it? I missed it. This is really not going well, guys. Sorry for being a little bit newbie there. All right, force tame. There we go. We got it. So, 
This is the whole new look for the Brocoptodon, guys. Look how awesome that looks. Like, so much more realistic now as well. So, if we press E to ride, and uh, you guys can see it's got a much more, um, like, it, it can hold so much more weight. If we actually open up its inventory on a level 120 here, um, as you can see, well, obviously my weight is invincible, so, so that, that was a little bit stupid. But his weight is so much more than it normally is. If we access that inventory there... As you can see, it has 657 weight, which is so much more than it had before. It can now carry little things in its pouch as well, which is awesome. And I think you can carry a, another passenger. I think this may be, is it two seats? I think it might be. Yeah, passenger seats and then board pouch. And as you can see, we are currently in the pouch of our Procoptodon, which is pretty damn awesome. And, and uh, yeah, so someone else can ride it while you're doing that. So we'll jump out of that. And also, what did it mean by pick up? Oh, yeah, no, that, I thought I got a bit excited thinking that was something special. But there we go. There's the new updates to the Procoptodon there. Really awesome stuff. And uh, let's move on to one of the things that a load of you guys have been waiting for. So I feel like actually we should be leaving the one of the best till last. So I think we'll go with the Dire Bear next. Now, I'm going to make sure God Mode is on. I know I'm in Creative Mode, so I don't know if I take any damage or not. But just to make sure, I'm going to put on God Mode just so I don't take any damage. So, we are going to be spawning in the Dire Bear. So, all it is is just the same summon um, and get rid of Procoptodon and just type in Dire Bear. The same for the Dire Wolf as well. If I, you know, I don't really want to be longing that out too much. Dire, uh, dire Bear is literally just Dire Bear. And as you will see on the screen, when, when it actually loads in, you will see the change to the dive, dive bear. And look at that, guys. Really nice. And I'll force tame it so you guys can see what it's like tamed up. Level 30, so nothing special, but very nice. I would love to actually be able to... Um, I cannot wait. I've, I mean, I've done it a few times now, but as you guys may or may not know, when I'm recording on my PC, it slows my game down, so I, can, I can't play on the highest settings possible, um, which is what I normally do when I'm not on the game. So it's a bit upsetting I can't see it right now, but I think they're still looking pretty nice. And uh, you can see this is the change to the dive bear. Sorry, I had a little bit of a hiccup there. Um, so pretty quick um, they are they're meant to be very m much more useful now because um, if you didn't know they now can collect honey times three the amount than normal and the bees if you're on your dire bear bees won't actually attack you if you didn't know it would attack will attack the bear so I recommend like either attacking with your bear or jumping off and seeing what the dire bear can do but really awesome stuff there and we're going to be moving on now to the dire wolf which is pretty simple just moving straight on by pressing tab and going up to dire bear and literally just putting wolf um right now and it will spawn in the new wolf obviously the pixels at the start literally looks like minecraft um and then the wolf is chasing us and look at the new wolf look at that that is very very awesome let's force tame that so much more realistic that's a nice color on it there as well um as you can see yeah the, the colors do look really really nice there and uh, you can howl, you, uh, and with, especially when the with the um the packs of wolves now. If you didn't know, with the alpha, the alpha dire wolf now has a pack increase buff when they all howl, and he becomes so much more powerful. But yeah, the dire wolf does look very awesome, and um, I'm gonna be using this one lots, lots, lots more. And I cannot wait for this to be released on console, and uh, and I'll be doing obviously some more videos to that for people who may be on the console. But anyway. So we have got the final guy left to have a little look at and he is going to be so awesome and you guys know that it is the Rex. I've been so excited to do this all video. It's the one I've been waiting for so much and we're finally at that point of the video now where we can actually finally spawn it in. So summon just Rex and there you go. Wait for the Minecraft effect to go away. And uh, look at the new Rex, guys. It's only a level four. Let's get that force tamed if we actually can. There we go. That is looking pretty damn awesome, if I do say so myself. So let's jump on that Rex and uh, and let's get moving because this is pretty damn awesome. I think this is the first time on the PC I've ever rode Rex before because I don't play much Arc PC, if I'm honest, because um, I'm more, you know, I've always started off on console, but look at how awesome this is. It walks so much, or it looks like that is, that is so awesome. That really is. 
Oh yeah, and and that, that's what I've absolutely forgotten about is with the TLC update. There's actually a cooldown on how the Rex can um, on how the Rex actually when it roars because apparently when you roar with when like because obviously as you can see it's different than normal. When you actually do that, it put it makes a character or player poo themselves. And once they um, obviously once they do that, um, it gives a cooldown on the Rex. Otherwise, you'll be able to get the player poop locked, and it will just be absolutely stupid. So, anyway. They are all your new dinos so far in the TLC update. Absolutely awesome stuff there. Really looking. They just look so nice. Like the direwolf as well. Look at that. It looks so realistic now. And uh, seeing this on console, especially on the Xbox One X, is going to be a very, very, very nice thing to see. But anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy today's video. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel because all the support really means so much to me. Look at that. Look at that view of all these new dinos. It looks great. But anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video very soon. See you guys later, and I hope you did enjoy.